The home of Nadekan invaded on 14th of September 2017. So, as we see, since that very day, we have not seen the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and our mothers went on a peaceful protest on 17th, asking Nigerian government where about Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. They were, they were arrested, my hundred and detained. So how do you look at it? So Nigerian government is known for illegally arresting people and detaining people as well as illegally. Look at the issue of the, they arrested people on uh, uh, 17th. Yes. and brought them onto the court mm. on 20th. Mm. What did the law say about that? The law said when you arrest somebody, you make sure you you, you bring the person to the court within 40, 48 hours, mm. at maximum. Within 48 hours, at maximum. But in this case, uh, it took them uh, three days before they can uh, bring them. And they, they took them to a magistrate court. When they have a, an allegation and charges that has to do the with Nigerian terrorism and the treason, the Nigerian government is charging them with uh, uh, terrorism, terrorism charges and, the treason. and the treason. But they intentionally took them to magistrate court. The same thing has been happening in other cases. So this is my first time to see a government arresting and detaining um, a peaceful uh, um, women protesting peacefully, asking a government. A particular thing we want to see where our leader is this is that was the uh, uh, what they were asking the Nigerian government so uh, looking at it that yesterday on 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 20th when they were brought to the court that is that was magistrate court yeah. what happened uh, um, at the court I, I just want you to give us the uh, the analysis of what happened at the court because the, the court does not have the facility to keep them for trial. That is, there is no uh, structure, enough structure where they can stay and even uh, see how they have been tried. So, and what did they do from the information? The court has to sit outside. outside. Can you see that kind of shape? A very big shame. A very to, big shame. To the so-called, to the so-called giant, of giant of Africa. You know, a very big shame. And secondly, when these women were brought to court, they were left inside the car, the, the, the lorry, mm. the, uh, the, the Black Maria, mm -hmm. uh, as they call it. Mm -hmm. They were left there to suffer with all the heat and the, 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 the hot sun associated with the hot. They were left there just that way. Because uh, there was a Biafra reporting from Biafra yeah. land. He was saying that they were brought to court, uh, the court premises, and they were brought to court by 9 a.m. Yeah. Before the, the church came, it was around 1 p.m. Yeah, they, they suffered dehydration. They yeah. were under the sun throughout the they, hours. They, they, they passed through hell under the hands of Nigeria uh, security personnel. But, 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 but that's... But that's, uh, that's uh, that's one thing Nigeria is known for. Their concern authority is to follow the protesters. Hence, they are protesting peacefully. Their concern authority, their concern right is to guide the protesters. Not to arrest and pack a peaceful protesters. So, so what matter. they did right from, from the beginning, what they are doing is not constitutional. So, so right now, what I'm trying to, uh, what I want our audience to understand right now is mm. whether our women, our mothers, whether they were right, doing what they were doing, yeah, and uh, we want to also understand oh. the, the right Nigerian police has to arrest them that very day. So these are the oh, things oh, we want oh, to oh, find oh, out. Oh. Our women are fully right in doing what they are doing because they are not violent. They are not attacking anybody. You have every right to come out and start singing from morning to night. And nobody will disturb you. It is your right. That is your right, yeah. It is your right. So they have their right even to move as, as long as they want. The problem of Nigeria government is that, uh, like I keep saying it anywhere, any day, that the Nigerian government is looking for a way to provoke, uh, to provoke uh, the indigenous people of the to to arms. So that they, so that Britain can come and back them up. 
and sustain such violence for as long as they want. This they have been only they have they have been using only one strategy. The Nigerian government does not know how to handle the case of Biafra. And that's why they have been applying force and force and force intimidation, harassment, persecution, and the rest. That's why they because they don't have any other agenda, they don't have any other strategy, they don't have they have been in fact morally, constitutionally, and technically. The indigenous people of Biafra have defeated the Nigerian government in this struggle. You know, I keep saying it, when somebody does not have what it takes to argue with you, he resorts to fight. But anybody that still has something in stock to debate or argue with you, we never resort to attacking you verb, uh, physically. So what the Nigerian government is telling the world by their action is that they don't know what to do anymore. So they result in killing, arresting, intimidating, humiliating, clamping down, or whatever. That's the only thing. They do. Last night on Radio Biafra, um, there was a report coming from Biafra land that um, about 15 Biafra women were not registered. Um, what do you think is the aim of the Nigerian police? Why they did not register these 15 women? <laughs> because <laughs> if you arrest, if you arrest women mm. and you don't register them officially to enter them into that, then you want to take them. Maybe they want to take them uh, and force them into their marriage. You know, the Nigerian government, uh, Nigeria, as you can see, are uh, very, very good in forcing people into marriage. That is so uh, what, what they did is unlawful. So what did yeah. the Nigerian police right now on this matter? The issue is that uh, that uh, report coming out should be properly verified. And uh, if, if it is clearly verified and it is found out that some people are not entered in the data that uh, is presented in the court for that case, then it means a very serious petition should be written against the Nigerian police and against the Nigerian government to tell the world where they are, why are they hiding the women of indigenous people of Africa? What are they intending to do with them? Look at what is happening in, 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 in Libya. People are being sold. So let us not uh, uh, take this issue very, very light. A very serious investigation should be carried out to find out if actually some women are not registered in the court so that proper issues and proper movement steps should be taken to avoid our people being sold out or being taken to something else. Thank you very much. Yes, um, our audience, what we are saying right now is about 15 Biafra women were not registered yesterday or record. So we don't know the, the, the intention of the Nigerian police. So what we are saying right now is Nigerian police must not do anything unlawful to our women. Of course, although they have committed crime because they must have ulterior motive why they refused to register them yesterday. So we still have another issue. Um, many Biafrans are calling for action because we are being pushed to the war. Look at the, during Biafra protests when Nandi Khan was arrested and, the, and the, a court released him and the Muhammad Buhari refused to obey court order. And the, uh, the people of Biafra back on a peaceful protest, calling the Nigerian government to release the, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. During the protest, at the peak of the protest, Biafrans were killed with, uh, life, uh, with life ammunition. So this is what happened. Even when Nand Khan came out from, uh, from prison in 2017, on September 14, his home was invaded. Over 28 people were killed in his own home. And uh, hundreds of Biafrans killed by the Operation Python Dance 2, deployed by the Nigerian government. Since then, Biafrans are disappearing, Biafrans are being killed. So we are being pushed to the wall. This is what we are seeing in Nigeria. Now, uh, on, on 17th of August 2018, they also arrested our women, manhandled them, detained them, even though today's thing to torture some of them. So this is, they are pushing us to the wall. And some Biafrans are calling for action, you know, for action because we are being pushed to the wall. What do you tell the indigenous people of Biafra right now? Well, uh, people should understand one thing, that the struggle for liberation, struggle for uh, country like this 
how it's being carried out stage by stage. You need to protest. Yes. You need to embark on civil disobedience, which we are experiencing today. We have protested for a very long time, hmm. and this time around, we are combining the protest with a civil Disobed disobedience. Yeah. When you talk about civil disobedience, we talk about by cutting of election, we talk about by cutting of any gathering by the Nigerian government, we talk about uh, all kind of uh, uh, by court, civil of civil gathering or whatever. Mm. So when you do that, then before you can go for uh, self defense, what people are calling for action, when I hear people calling for action, I believe they are calling for self defense. But in this case, we have not, we are about to reach that state, but we are not there. People should know that we are not there because we need to exhaust all the principles that has to do with civil disobedience. When we are through with civil disobedience, the world will take into account in full time that yes, these people does not want to be part of Nigeria. Those who are calling for actions now does not understand the principle and the game. Because what, are, what is remaining, the Nigerian general election is coming. And that general election is very, very vital for us because it will prove, we will use that general election to prove more because that is going to be the largest election that's ever been held so far. That uh, within the time we are showcasing our, our civil disobedience. So we are going to use this coming uh, election as a very big signpost to tell the world that we don't want to be part of Nigeria. So I think those that are calling for action should fully join this struggle. So as it is, um, we also have a leader. They should follow the order from the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra. Yes, and that's why I'm saying that mm. this thing has, it goes stage by stage. stage. So now, the, our leaders currently mm. are talking about we following and obeying the instruction yes. on civil disobedience. Yeah. The time for action will come, if necessary. But not now that we are trying to uh, exhaust uh, mm. the, uh, the principle that is guiding us on this uh, civil disobedience. So right now, um, based on um, the action people are calling, say, let there be uh, self-defense. Mm. And you are saying that people should exercise patience yes. and they follow the order from the, the leadership of the indigenous people of yeah. Biafra. So right now, how do you want our women? Because you know Muhammad Buhari. I have said it several times that Muhammad Buhari is a stubborn man. He doesn't respect the law. He doesn't listen to anybody. He doesn't, respect, he doesn't listen to his fellow government. He doesn't do that. He doesn't respect even the judiciary. Are you getting me? So right now, how do you want the people of Biafra to release their women? We have to allow the law to take that's this course. That's their law. Mm. We are going to give that their law what it requires to use the same that their law and achieve our aim. So you are saying we that have we a team of lawyers mm -hmm. that are already that have already taken up. Mm. So we should allow those lawyers to exhaust all the legal process and the process that is required in this type of thing. I want to tell you, another thing I want to tell you that those women will not stay there for up to three weeks. Go and put them. They will not stay in that cell for more than three weeks. All this is all about intimidation. Let me tell you the tactics that the Nigerian government is using. Mm -hmm. the, the tactics the Nigerian government is using after they have seen that killing will not uh, uh, solve the problem. Okay. Because had it been it was before, mm -hmm. Maybe you would have had five women, ten women shot dead. Not wounded, mm. not uh, fainted, mm. as they did not shot dead. That is the news we would have had before. But for one reason or the other, they, they, they managed because they didn't want this issue of women to lead into uh, that kind of brutal mm, to uh, have confrontation. Mm. You know? mm. So, what they are doing now. The, uh, another strategy that the Nigerian government is using, and which our people must be very, very enlightened on, mm -hmm. is that they want to use, you talk about Biafra, they catch you, they put you for sale, mm. after a while, they leave you, to weaken your spirit. Yes. That is a strategy to weaken your spirit. Mm. They believe that 
when they continue to do that, why their saboteur has continued doing underground job, mm. then within a short time they can achieve their aim. Mm. But I want to tell you something. Their problem is that the members, the core members of IPOB, are not willing to surrender for any reason. They have used debt, they have used uh, imprisonment, they have used all kinds of instruments. Yes, it's not working there. So now, this time around, they won't apply the same thing they apply to the youth, to the women, mm. to see if they can weaken the mind of the women. women. Maybe by the time the woman come, comes out from the, from the, 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 the cell mm. and uh, her spirit become very, very low, mm. maybe she will go back and start preaching to the youth to pedal down. Haven't gone some experiences. But what I'm trying to tell you is that this thing they are doing is very, very advantageous to us. Because it's going to harden the heart of our women stronger to the extent that they will now be a very strong backbone to the youth uh, against what the federal government is doing. So let us just relax. Within a short time, our women are going to show you so what our women, it's not yet right. Yes. We can go into action when it is time for that. But now is not the time. We have not finished the e e e so issue of a. Uh, so, so releasing no. our mothers, uh, so what we have to do now is to follow legal process yes, let's just follow and the legal get process. them released. Don't deny them, they cannot deny them the legal process. Mm. The law, and I'm, I can assure you, the law cannot hold those women. Mm. No law will ever hold them. Because, uh, Niger no law. because Nigerian law eh, it has a provision for um, peaceful assembly. Yes. It also has a provision for you to air your view. Yes. To express say your yourself. mind, express, express yourself. yourself. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. So the law gives our women the right, 100% right, Even to, protest uh, to, to embark on a peaceful protest. Yes. That one is certain. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Nadi. So now, the, the state of Nigeria, looking at the state of Nigeria, what is happening in Nigeria? What do you tell the indigenous people of Biafra, especially those of them that are calling for action or self-defense right uh, now? Uh, uh, the, the, the situation in Nigeria, if, if anybody who has a very good eye mm -hmm. and uh, who is watching clearly what mm -hmm. is happening mm -hmm. can also see that Nemesis is even catching up mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's catching Nigeria up. Nemesis is catching up. Look at what has been happening ever since our leader was nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. Look at what is going on in Nigeria. Everything is catching beginning from the, the lower level to the highest level. level. So, events that will even help Biafra is fast approaching. Yes, of course. So, let people calm down. And if you listen uh, this week, you mm. had some of the Northern leaders mm. uh, asking, uh, telling government to allow Biafrans to go. Mm. That the Biafran... Uh, it's annoying. Uh, the this Biafran, the activity uh, is annoying. Uh, protests and all these activities is annoying. Mm. So I want to tell you, in as much as we do not go back, very soon this people will get hurt. Because there is limit. There are limit to, 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 to how you can carry out evil. Evil is the only thing I have seen that does not last long. The only thing that lasts long is good. Evil comes and go. Reacts, do all kinds of things, commit all kinds of atrocities. But it will not last long. Yeah. So what they are doing will not last. Very soon it will disappear. And so, very soon they will have their problem in among them. Thank you very much, Mr. Nadi. So what you are saying now is that uh, the people of Biafra, especially those of them that are calling for self-defense right now, should look beyond and see the, the yeah. state of Nigeria. Yeah, that their problem, beyond. their problem is eating them up. Yes. The problem in Nigeria. So we should allow their problem to start with them. Then, we should we, not allow them to push their problem to us. Yeah, by, then end, we'll come, by then we'll come in and finish their problem for them. Of course, this is the <laughs> this is how it is right now. So yeah. the people of Biafra, what we're saying right now is all of you who are calling for action or self-defense should come down that we have a leader. The leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra will direct the people of Biafra on what to do and the time to do it. And when the time is right, we shall do it. And on the process, we shall restore the state of Biafra. So this is the issue right now. On the issue of our women, we shall follow legal process and get them released. 
everybody should calm down right now. The, the Biafra you see today, we are, using, we are using what we call superior argument to convince our people to follow what we are doing. We are not forcing anybody. We are also have maintained peace. To, to show the world that we can run a peaceful society, we can maintain democracy when we get our freedom. So this is the issue right now. Our women, everybody should come down. All, all of them detained must be released. So this is the truth of the matter. Thank you very much for watching. Be strong. Be strong. The more you cry, the weaker you become. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. The more you cry, the weaker you become. Be strong. We are with you, I know they arrested up to 300 women, but what I'm saying here is not up to 300. They must tell us where our women are being kept because we know they are up to 300. There are much more than 300 women that, are, that was arrested on that day. So we need to see them up. They must provide our women, both those who collapsed. But they must tell us where they, those women are because they are not this number. The women they arrested are more than this. The women they arrested are more than this. They must tell us where they kept our women. Be strong. We are coming back here on Thursday. See this grandma there, she is not less than 70 years, yet they are taking her to the cell. How can they return such a, an aid woman for the past 72 hours? This is not acceptable.